All right, good thing I didn't record that video because I wasn't even wearing a freaking mic. So, let's start again. What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can, with one click of a button, take all of your Shopify product listings and transfer them to your Etsy store. I'm super excited to share this with you because this is gonna save me and you a lot of time and energy when it comes to creating your listings. Um, via Shopify and Etsy. And I've actually talked about this application before. It's called ShopUp's Inventory. I've made another video on it in the past because not only does it do this where I can, with one click of a button, transfer all of my Shopify listings to my Etsy account, but I can also sync the inventory. So in real time, I can track inventory as I get a sale from Etsy from one SKU, the same SKU in Shopify will deduct inventory. So it's gonna prevent you from overselling, giving bad service to your customers, um, and just a really, really big headache when it comes to just managing the day in and day out of your business. Oh yeah, let's hop into this video. What's up guys, my name is Hannah Gardner and if you are new to the channel, I talk about mainly e-commerce and selling products online, but a lot of business and entrepreneurship you know, topics as well. So if that is what you're into, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and comment and like this video because honestly, it, it helps my channel. So just, just do it. As I mentioned before, we're talking about ShopUp's inventory. ShopUp's inventory has an abundance of features, including um, not only being able to take your Shopify product listings and pushing them into your Etsy store so you don't manually have to make new listings every time you have new products, but also syncing all of your inventory. And now I haven't even set this up and I'm not really going over this in, that, in this video specifically, but now with the orders option inside of this application, you can actually get your Etsy orders to get pushed into your Shopify account and actually fulfill your Etsy orders from Shopify. And this keeps you know, a lot of less confusion, a lot of more tracking all in one place because this application allows you to keep all of this in one place via you know, Shopify. showing you your best-selling products because some of your best-selling products might be different on Shopify than on Etsy. Things like total daily, weekly, monthly sales instead of having to manually go back and forth in between the platform and calculate you know, how many sales or how many you know, weekly, monthly sales you're actually getting, it's gonna show you it in one place as well as things like your reporting for your cost of goods sold. So a lot of accounting factors as well that you would manually have to go and pull separately, which I don't even think Etsy lets you put in a cost for the product, um, more or less show you that with Shopify. So really, really cool stuff guys. But I'm gonna hop into my computer right now and I'm gonna show you how I am literally transferring my Shopify products into Etsy with just one single click. So when you go to you know the Shopify app store and download um, ShopUp's inventory, I think you get like a 14 day free trial by the way, the link for this is in my description. Um, you, the first thing that it's gonna do is it's gonna prompt you to connect your Etsy store. So it's gonna look like this. You're gonna just press authenticate and you're going to allow access to your Shopify store. All right, cool. So congratulations, your success. Um, and some of the few things that I just wanna point out here as we wait for this to load is that in this inventory tab that we are currently on right here, um, that's where you're gonna see all of our products file in um, to the application. One thing that you do need to note with this is that before downloading this uh, application, you wanna make sure that all of your SKUs match between platforms as well as the quantities, because that's what's going to synchronize this and to put it into place from the get-go. So you wanna make sure that you have it 
set up properly when you're making these listings so that they sync together from the beginning. And once you launch this, you activate the order syncing, it will begin tracking together. So if you have two products that are the same, but you gave them different SKUs, it's not going to work. You need to make sure that the SKUs are the same before and the quantities are the same before. Um, before you launch this. So as you can see in here, you can see I have all of the products and SKUs. Um, and the reason why you're seeing so many different, like here you're seeing Shopify having, you know, five different rows, it's because I have that SKU in many, many different listings. And that's why you're seeing multiples under Shopify of the same SKU. Okay, so in the orders tab, obviously that's where you're going to enable the order sync. But what we are gonna focus on is the export listings tab. So um, say we wanna export a listing here. And one thing that you need to know is you can only export new listings onto Etsy if obviously the list, like the SKU can exist already on Etsy. So you have to make sure that you're exporting SKUs that are new. <laughs> Wait, so that would make sense. Um, so you can pick your Etsy category here. Um, and then you need to pick an Etsy shipping profile. So this is another thing that's really, really important is that inside of your Etsy account, you need to make sure that you're using a fixed Etsy shipping profile. You can always change it if you want to do calculated rates um, later on, and you can do that in a batch so it's not like a headache, but you, to, for it to pick it up in this app, it has to be a fixed shipping profile. So if you offer you know, free shipping, and then, I mean, mostly everyone on Etsy offers free shipping, so it's not hard to make it a fixed shipping profile. Free shipping and then internationals are usually like $15 from the US because most of my orders are from Canada, but you can change different fixed rates per, you know, the main countries that you sell to. Well, as you can see here, it's pulling all of these shipping profiles um, from my Etsy store, but I made a fixed shipping profile and it's just called fixed shipping profile. So now I'm gonna go and I'm going to choose a listing that is not yet on my Etsy store and I'm going to see if it's going to work and publish into my Etsy draft. And that's where it's gonna put it. It's gonna put it in draft, so don't worry, it's not going to make it you know, public. So I'm just gonna hit export now and let's see what happens. Sweet. So as we see here, it says, congratulations. It is complete. Okay, let's go to our draft listings in Etsy and let's see if it made the metamorphous ring. And look at that, it's right there, perfect. It synced the SKUs, the quantities, the photos even look the same. So obviously there's gonna be some things that like just don't sync to Etsy because you know, Shopify doesn't have those conditions because it's just different conditions, different forms that Etsy doesn't have. For the most part, it really did get everything though. Like everything, it got even the description. This is going to save me a lot of time, especially if you're somebody new and yep, it got the quantities, it got everything. Um, especially if you're somebody new trying to sync their Shopify store to Etsy for the first time, this is gonna save you days depending on how many listings you have. I would say so super super cool stuff um that's basically how this works um inside of uh shop ups inventory again there's other features like um like i mentioned before um where you can go back and actually sync your orders um and this will actually um, put all of your orders in one place. But we'll have to make another video on that. So if you guys wanna try out ShopUp's inventory, go ahead and click the link in my description and save yourself a lot of time and headache. Just don't go through the headache. All right guys, I will see you in the next video.